Let's go to Alicia in the Bronx. Alicia, what would you think you got away with but got caught or maybe you didn't get caught? So, I was actually doing something really bad. I was drunk driving mm. one night. I hope and, you got caught. Um, I didn't, but um, I wound up rear-ending this lady uh, in the middle of the road. And when she got out the car to come see me, I was like, I don't even remember what I said. But no. when she got back in her car, I just sped off. So, wow, so you did get away. Yo, you got so lucky. I really did. Is it, it yo, really listen, but is this the first time, is this the first time you talked about this? No. And have you learned your lesson regardless and stopped drinking and driving? Absolutely. I mean, you yeah, sound that's not like, good. you, you sound like you was someone, drinking last man. <laughs> No, definitely not. <laughs> I'm not a murderer. Yo, listen. Murderer Jazz. Mm. Hey, that's sensitive. Hey, Alicia, I appreciate you sharing, though. Yeah, no doubt. I just want to say you guys are awesome and keep doing what you're doing. You, are, uh, Alicia, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. How long ago this happened? This happened two years ago. Two years. All right. You, well, you sound you pretty, she sounds upset. Well, I mean, that, l- listen. As long as she learned her lesson, As man. someone who's been impacted in the worst way by drinking and driving, I forgive you. It's terrible that you did that, but you learned your lesson, and now, you, now you're on point. So at least you can spread the message to people to not do it. Yeah, please. Don't drink and drive. Not there you go. It. Thank you for calling. Let's go to All right. Anonymous in the Bronx. Anonymous. What's going on? How you doing? What'd you do? What'd you get away with, or what did you thought you get away with? Long story short, we got into a scuffle back in college, and um, one of the dudes got the best of me until I seen him crossing the street, and I I ate the light, and I banged him. <laughs> you ran a man over, son? For sure. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean for sure? Um, I'm not taking an L. <laughs> oh you, my you got into goodness. a fight, and then you ran a man over with a car, my G. Yeah. My G, they jumped me. Nah, that's not how we do in the Bronx. There's no fair one. So, so what happened to the guy? I don't know. Oh. Uh-huh. Kept on going. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I didn't run him over, like, but I hit him with the car. That's for sure. Like, how, like how fast was you going? I was doing 40. Okay, and how do you how did you hit him but not run him over? Because he was, he was going to cross the street until he saw I was speeding up. So when he saw I was speeding up, he tried to back up. So I just, you know, I weaved a little and I banged him and I... So he kind of was He was kind of Jumping out the way Cause he right. saw you But I hit him You clipped him. him Oh he made sure you hit him Oh yeah Ebro you're trying to clean it up But you asked for savages to call And now that's what you're getting I didn't know I didn't know I mean Laura I mean, It's Laura's fault Laura kicked the kid Well my story is not as bad As these savages There was this rotten kid We were at a family gathering And he kept walking around Knocking people's plates Out of their hand And just being nasty And his mom wouldn't Tell him to sit down So you know what When nobody was looking He was running I stuck my foot out And I tripped him And guess what When he tried to get up I kicked his little butt again. Oh my god You animal <laughs> Laura's an animal And guess what The three ladies That were in the room That saw me Just gave me a nod Like yep, yeah That's what he's 